Okay, guys, so you find me at the Stripes. Uh, oh, 7 Eleven. It's the same thing. Over here in uh, New Brunfels, off of 33, uh, Texas 337. So I'm going to try uh, Joe's Loop on, uh, on Texas 337, see what happens. I'm anticipating it's exactly the same. So let's see, software. Come on, baby. So I'm still at full self driving beta 11.3.6 my navigation data has been updated it's now na-2022.44 1415 or 515 so nothing's changed with that said let's put in destination and let's get going and away we go Oh, just cars come up. Okay, great. <laughs> okay. The wheels turn back and forth like crazy. Peace and harmony. Relax. It's okay. Um, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Listen to me. Let this truck go by. And there's a truck behind them. Um... Oh, and of course, he's getting over it then. So, let's go. Accelerate into it. Now, I'm helping the car along with the my accelerator. Just to push him to go. All right. Well, there we go. We're on Joe's loop test. The original one. On uh, Texas 337. Speed limit is 45. The car's calculated its max speed to be 46. Um, of course, there's there's a fair amount of traffic. It is 12:58. It's kind of late. I mean, if you went out for lunch, you should be on, oh back at work already. Yeah, yeah. I used to be a boss. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just, I'm just kidding around, dude. Relax. Okay. But because of uh, being right at lunchtime, you know, there's some traffic. Maybe some people who are used to bosses like me, like, yeah, it's okay. A, a couple minutes don't matter. But then again, my people were salaried workers. So, I mean, they're, <laughs> they're working day and night. So, what difference does it make? Slight force, there's some slight force. Yeah, so I, I, I'm using my phone, I'm not, I don't have my GoPro right now. So you can't see what my hands are doing. So when it says apply slight force to the steering wheel, I just rest my hand on the uh, left side of it and kind of pull down a little bit. That's enough to make him happy. Oh, oh my goodness. River Acres. Okay, next traffic light is Common Street. So it says it's going to take three and a half miles to get to Texas 46. Uh, let's see, so uh, my destination as a, put in as a um, Chick-fil-A, basically. So I don't know, it, it, it's, a, it, it's hard for me to describe. It's like, kind of like somebody created some stores, whatever, and then people added stuff all around it. And so it's a combination of various shops and uh, parking lots in there. But it's, it's gonna be on Texas 46. Uh, it's only a short distance from um, 337, but it'll be far enough where we'll see what the car does. Let's see, I can see that the light is red, but the car sees that the light is red. Of course, the uh, semi in front of me is actually a pickup pulling a long trailer, a long utility trailer with a bunch of rebar and 
broken bricks. Is that what that is? I don't know, whatever. Not that it really matters. It's just, it's the way uh, Tesla interprets it. It just draws it in as a semi. And it doesn't really matter to you what it, what it is, as long as you don't hit it. Flashing yellow is River Crest, River Crest Drive. Um, and he slowed down slightly, but not very much. He went right through it. Very different from why he doesn't uh, FM 1431. Okay, so if you were with me before, this is Hans Drive. And uh, the video started from over here at the Harley Dav Davidson. What? They're closed day? It must be closed day. How oh, interesting. Closed on Monday. Maybe that makes sense. I don't know. There's the Guadalupe River. Green Road. Speed limit here is 45. And there's the exit sign, or the uh, warning for River Road, one quarter mile away. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Last slight force, there's slight force. Everybody's happy. And, oh, wow, we went right this time. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so that's what it is. I had to be further away. What do you know? Okay, there is a uh, truck over here in my outside lane. Oh, he's going further up from me. The light is turning. Yeah, is turning yellow. Is yellow. Turned red. Okay, why is that truck in that lane? How on? Okay. Right lane ends. Lane ends, merge left. Speed limit's 40. Okay, I, I am in the in uh, essentially the middle lane, which will soon be the inside lane of two. And the outside lane is gonna to come to an end. Oh, well, light did just chain out, change on, didn't it? Patience, patience. Green light. One, two, three, go. Tesla FSD acceleration engaged. Okay, that's interesting. Ah, there he goes. He's going to the right. I have no idea why. Okay, so let's come back. FSD re engaged. In the meantime, the van, who, who for some reason stayed to the outside, he's not going by me. Okay, speed limit's going up to 55. One, two, three. Now. And that's registered. And. Whoa! Oh! Oh, look! He is. He did turn! Uh, for some reason, the car decided it wanted to turn right here instead of staying on the highway. Oops. Oh, it breaks on. Okay, well, that's interesting. Oops. And this, this car, oh my god. I don't believe it. Of course it's a Lexus. He wanted to follow me. What? Is he going to say, well, I have FSD. That's why it did that. No. Okay, where are we at? Okay, 55. FSD's back. Or, uh, yeah, FSD's back on. 
So let's see what happens when we get up to 46, but I'm not so curious about that. I can't believe that it went down the road. Or even worse, I mean, when it stayed in that lane, that wasn't the turn prescribed by navigation. So why'd you even try that? I don't know. Well, it was reserved by Elon, it's not all fully integrated, or all the layers are not fully meshed together, merged together. What, what, what'd you see? I'm sorry, I wasn't looking at the screen, I heard it beep. I don't know why it beeped. Oh, oh, what do you see? It's not reporting anything being visualized. Oh, traffic. Okay, so... There is a couple of traffic lights up there that are wrapped up. And I'm guessing it didn't know what to do when the traffic lights are wrapped up. I mean, the lights themselves are not visible. So it had a reaction to that. <laughs> I don't believe it. Come on. In 1,000 feet. Take the Texas 46 ramp on the right toward Bloom, New Braunfels. Of course, I'm behind a Toyota Corolla who's going, I don't know how to drive. Okay, this is interesting. That's not blinking to change lanes, it's just doing it. I don't know why all of a sudden it doesn't want to blink. Keep right to take Texas 46. Okay, yeah, it's going, it's going in here. It's going in here. Is it going to turn? It is going to turn here. Oh my goodness. It actually turned here. Why did it do that? That's what navigation had, but it decided to take this right turn. Uh, the good news is it goes around and it'll come back out, but... Why did it do that? Fly force. Oh, broke loose. Okay. Why in the world am I on this road? I was supposed to go forward, not turn right. Okay. Okay. Good news is there is a traffic light up here, so it does come out. All right. So I'm going to loop around, try again. Okay, so you join me for the beginning of loop one, uh, loop two, pass two. So here we go. Break on. Oops. Oh, he doesn't want to be here. Okay, that's in drive. Come on, give me a noodle. Now turn right onto loop three. Give me a noodle. Ramp. All right, here we go. Yeehaw! Now okay. Yeah. Okay, it is going to the right to make a turn. Now turn right hold on, hold on. 337. Because you waited, you can't make it. Okay, accelerate into it. Of course you would. Oh, come on. Are you kidding? All right, for some reason, I didn't want to go. I was, my tire was on the line, I'm sure. Okay, whatever. We are navigating, we're FSDing. Speed limit, of course, is 45. Car, car's doing a plus two, so it's set to 47 max speed. And I'm doing 47. And interestingly enough, with that traffic light, the car right in front of me, for some reason, he decided he had to be in the outside lane as I'm coming out. I mean, I was coming out in front of him, but whatever. Peace and army. What's that? Ray, you're driving with FSD. You should be relaxed. Ah, yes, I am somewhat relaxed. Peace and art. Yeah. 
Green lights, one, two, three, go. And this Ford pickup on my right says he needs to go in front of me. Okay, let's go. Fly force, there you go. Leave me alone now. Okay, so I'm following, I'm following a car. Actually, following a line of cars, but FSD doesn't see that. Okay, all right, well, cool. Everything's good. It's light turning force. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you worried I'm not looking at screen enough? Yes. I'm, we're driving in traffic. I'm looking at traffic. Hans Drive. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I'm very impressed, yes. Oh, why? Green Road. Guadalupe River. people are getting frustrated with me because I'm doing 47 in the 45 zone. Okay, exit for River Road coming up. Noodle looks left and the noodle is staying left. What's the difference? I have no idea. Okay, 47. slowing down we're braking we're braking for what an imaginary stop sign that doesn't exist anymore I'm guessing that's what it's doing cruise control will not brake yes I'm, I'm pushing accelerator to make you go okay so there you go two passes two different behaviors Oh, here we go. We're going to go into this uh, merge lane. I don't know why. Foot covering the brake because this lane is going to go turn right. What is he doing? Ah! Okay. Uh, you were in a lane that was going to come to an end, and all of a sudden you went merge left, but there was traffic there, so you can't merge left. Okay. So the voice recording sent as uh, very curious. Just when you think you have it figured out, it does something different. <laughs> Do you have it now? Okay. That oh, interesting. In one mile, take the Texas 46 red line. Okay, so this 
this is where the lights weren't really visible. Is it that, or is this? It's not pointing towards me. Okay, the lights are not pointing towards me, but you didn't slow down for that one. How weird. No. Okay, he wants to merge left for some reason. I don't know why. I guess he doesn't like to slow traffic. Well, the traffic's going what? They're doing 45 to 45 zone. Okay, yes, it does see the traffic lights. All the traffic lights are not visible. I mean, the, the lamps are up there, but the glass is covered. Okay, so you're going around these people or going to speed limit. Why? Anyway, I don't know. I just thought I would. Okay, and properly recognize that the traffic light was turned yellow and just turned red. Okay, that part's good. Oh my goodness gracious, I don't believe it. What, what am I supposed to say to this? I don't know. Two different behaviors. Now, I think the second time was was it following a jeep? I don't know. Okay, uh, noodles going right. No turn signals, obviously. That's curious. In one thousand feet, keep right to take Texas forty-six and turn right okay. onto ah! State Highway forty-six. Shit, you caught it. You're changing behaviors all over the place. What in the world? Okay, I'm not gonna wait for you to go look. Go, go right, go right. Now keep right. For some reason, the car did not want to go right when it has to go right. I don't know why. Okay, well, that was interesting, wasn't it? In 500 feet, turn left onto Independence Drive. How about turn right on Independence Drive? Okay, so that Don't concludes this test. Okay, so going back and reviewing the past past two, um, I noticed at first I thought it was a noodle. It's not the noodle. Noodle shows me going straight. So coming over the overpass, going over a road. The noodle shows I'm going straight, but the navigation screen on the right side shows kind of a U-turn with a detached section or something. So the navigation data that was showing on the navigation part of the screen was not right. But the FSD was doing it correctly. It, it's so bizarre, I just don't know. But anyway, uh, We'll see. So this is a very interesting pass on the uh, Joe's Loop on uh, Texas 337. Um, the first time, so when I did it last time, I feel like maybe I wasn't far enough out. All right, so I've added a, a I've added a marker that's further out. It's the stripes, basically. Uh, that's at 204 Texas 337. Um, there's actually a, uh, like a commuter parking lot or something that, that's just west of there. So uh, I uh, used that on the second pass. So it is true that I did not do exactly the same pass both times. Although there was almost no difference between the two. So anyway, that's where, that's where I start from, 204 Texas 337. Okay. The end of the test is supposed to be at 1663, Texas 46. Now, I, I described that as a, a Chick-fil-A. There's other, there's other stores in there, but um, at the end of the second pass today, I turned right on Independence uh, Drive, whatever it is. Uh, no, no point going across the traffic. Okay. 
So there's that part. Uh, it's very curious. So first time, yes, it went down the river road exit. Completely, un uh, I shouldn't say it's unexpected why we run the test because Joe had a problem with it, right? Anyway, it went down that way. Kind of bizarre. Um, and even though there was a truck on the outside lane, the car insisted it wanted to get over into that right lane that was coming to an end. And and the truck behind me like, well, if you're going right, I'm going left. I'm going I'm going through. Well, he didn't come up fast enough. The car figured out it was in the wrong place and it moved left again. Okay. So you come up over the hill and then you're in this lane. It's going to come to an end with an abrupt right turn. So lane ends turn right or actually it turns right. And when you when you turn right, right there it turns into a dirt road and there's a gate. Okay. So first pass, the car came up there and it was going to turn right. That's what it was going to do. It was going to turn right into the into this gate. If I hadn't braked, it, it it felt like it would have kept going through that gate. Now surely Tack would have said, no, there's something there. Or collision avoidance, whatever you don't call that thing. Okay, whatever, that's fine. And then coming up on the X46, uh, for some reason it turned onto a road. It got into the right lane that was turning right before you get to Texas 46. I, I don't know why it did that. It did. Okay. So anyway, that, that turn that comes around, comes out to Independence Drive. Or is Independence Drive? I'm not sure which it is. Anyway, um, at that point, I stopped that pass. Okay, pass two. Now, pass two. There's actually a commuter park commuter parking lot that's just west of the stripes, and that's where I started the second pass from. I mean, I don't think it'd make much difference. I'm still coming out on the text three three seven, the same exact way. Um, the problem with that that stripes parking lot area is when you're coming out there's so much traffic coming off the traffic light you have to wait for the light to turn red and then hope to make it out before anybody makes a turn onto the 337 okay whatever peace and army that's okay so this time on second pass through for some reason the car decided to stay left I don't know. Okay. So it came up to the emergency stop sign. If you saw Joe's latest tweet, or a recent tweet anyway, um, he's talking about how there's an imagine, imaginary line that lays over where River Road would be. So if you imagine that there was not an overpass over River Road and you were instead going on 337 down to an intersection of the road where there was a stop sign or some kind of traffic control. It's almost like the the data that the car has indicates there's an intersection with River Road and it has to take appropriate action. Okay. There is no intersection of River Road. It's on an overpass. All right, whatever. So there I use the accelerator to keep the car going so that the cars, because there was like two or three cars coming up behind me and they're going like, oh, what happened? Well, it's, uh, it's just freaking out. Okay. So after you go over the overpass and the road coming up from River Road comes up, the car insists on going to the right. I'm not sure why. It's, it's probably related to the same thing. Whatever data this Tesla has in the FSD system, the data is not right. Okay? Whatever it is, it, it's not appropriate. That really needs to be fixed at some point. So, it sees that lane opening up to the right. I don't know why it does this, because on, on I-37, it always wants to get left. Oh, I'm moving up to the middle lane to make you go faster. I'm already going as fast as I'm going to go. 
whatever that's another that's another subject but so when that lane opened up on the right it went to the right then it saw the 55 zone 55 zone and sped up to 55 just shortly after that the dashes turn into the quick dashes indicating that you should not cross that line okay it doesn't tell you you can't but it tells you you shouldn't because it's now becoming you're you've already committed that you can go right so this time instead of going to the right it now turns on the turn signal at the end it turns on the turn signal it's about to merge left and there's two cars coming up that are about to hit the car if it did go left. So I had to, I had to cancel out, send a message. So they got so Tesla got several messages today. Um, they probably got more in their fair share of Mr. Ray complaining. Whatever. The point of sending a message is to tr hopefully try to improve how the system works. Because the actions here are... are let's call them reckless at the, at the best and downright recklessly dangerous potentially accidental causing an accident so it's crazy, you shouldn't do that okay, whatever peace and harmony um, just, it, it's really about trying to improve the system so when RoboTaxi comes out we can all trust RoboTaxi okay peace and harmony